this is a screenshot I took a couple of days ago. I was talking with Flat Earth Doctrine is Nathan Roberts. I said that he should, he's been exposing people lately. And this particular video that we were on, I didn't know the person involved, but I am familiar with Dean Odell's work. And I noticed, well, a little familiar, not very, actually. So I know that he knows Dean Odell personally, so I wanted him to review his work like he's been doing with other people. So expose Dean Odell. Matthew 6, 5, when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So Dean Odell starts out his meetings with a prayer, a public prayer. He's in a church house, so this here is called synagogue, but that's the same same thing. A synagogue that he's talking about wasn't a Christ Christian church either. So he's explaining to you what the Christian faith is. Don't pray in public because that's what hypocrites do. Because they do it because they want to be seen. They want to be seen and be loved for it. The next verse I should have uh, I should have copied that one too. I just pulled it up by searching for it though. So so Matthew 6, 6, King James Bible, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. This one here is 6, 5. What I'm saying to you is, when thou prayest, don't be as the hypocrites. They love to pray standing in the buildings and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father, which is in secret. And thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. There's this mention of uh, in secret, of going into your closet and then shutting the actual door and then secret and then secret. Understand that this is what the context of the verse that I showed him was. He says you need to understand the context of that scripture. You really believe Dean prayer solely for public display? Respond, did he go into a closet so no one could see him? Does he open his synagogue meeting with a public prayer he posts on the Internet for everyone to see? Can you not read? This is blatant sun worship. Please don't use the Bible as proof if you don't believe it is the Holy Word of God. Since then, Nathan put up this video 87 minutes ago on April 4th. So it's called Prayer Time. So this, what this is is directly after I made him aware that the Bible does not support um, open prayer. So he claimed refraction, if you recall, and now he's making this video. He just asked people to get him to pray with him online. He made it very clear that he was going to pray online and do it right here and do it. Now remember, this man just asked me if if I thought that Dean Odell prayed on purpose because it's against the Bible. 
Now, I just barely got done telling him that it is against the Bible. This is where you can find the instruction on prayer in public. And his response is making this video. And have a mutual understanding of, of your truth, Father. I also pray that for my marriage as well as everyone else's, as well as I uh, pray for continued health in our families. So let me explain to you. This is, uh, this is against what the Bible says to do with prayers. There's lots of information on prayer. Okay, so when we go through it, though, are we going to find that he's doing something that he was told to do? No. We're not going to find that at all. So this whole praying in public thing, you have to understand the history of Christianity was subverted. Because our fathers chose not to follow the word, we no longer fell under the covenant that protected us from falling for every little trick that comes our way. That's how we fell for the spinning ball. It's not because we were smart or dumb. It's because we got tricked out of belief in the Bible. So... A flat earther that doesn't understand that trusting in the Bible's word for the guidance on when to pray that claims to be a Christian is it's, it's, it's something else. It's super common for people to pray, but they don't do so because of a verse that tells them to get together and pray together. It tells them how to pray, to pray in secret, so where to pray, and Nathan Roberts is over here breaking both of them just days after being made aware of this fact, and understand that the church, his congregation doesn't understand that this is even against the the Bible. It's against the law. So, I mean, who makes the law on praying? God does in the Bible. I just made him aware of the fact that when you pray, you don't do it as the hypocrites. They love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. They may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father, which is in secret. And thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. The verses only tell the one story. Refraction does not excuse the word. We had the word before refraction could ever be an excuse for anything. And we fell for refraction because we didn't believe the word. This is a deceiver, a purposeful a deceiver. I mean, you, I took a screenshot of it because how can a flat earther care so little about the Bible? He says you need to understand the context of that scripture. Well, I just showed you the context of it, right? You really believe Dean prayed solely for public display? And then Nathan prays solely for public display. Guys, this cannot be misconstrued. I want to explain it cannot be misconstrued. This is called prayer time. I took that screenshot on this day. Four, two, at seven. So two days ago. In his mind, he is aware that the Bible says not to do this. To get better at it. it, takes faith to pray. That's for sure. Faith to receive a prayer in Jesus' name in this live stream. I would love to to pray for you. 
So I'm looking at the comments. Hey, Rick, how you doing? I saw Johnny Bargo on here. Hey, Dan West, good to see you guys. Hey, Blue Velvet. Yeah. Does the Bible say to pray in public? Look, it points you to that verse. Why did Paul encourage Christians to pray everywhere, but Jesus said, no, he said Christians everywhere to pray, need to pray. See how they change things? I don't know who these guys are. Answers in Genesis. Okay, so this is 1 Timothy 2.8. I desire, therefore, that the men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. And where do they do that? Inside their closets. Alone. In secret. When thou pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites. Oh, that's the verse I, we've been going over. When you shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. All right, so that's actually a great point. Vain repetitions. Yeah, I should have brought that up earlier. Um, so what is vain repetitions? Is it closing in Jesus' name? I I think that that could be considered a vain repetition. It's like being wordy with God. And it explains why you don't need to do that. He knows what you want before you... You don't even have to put it all into words. He invented the concept of words. <laughs> He's got it all worked out. You don't have to worry about that. So... These guys want to look at First Timothy again. I'd say that one doesn't. All right. By the time of Christ's ministry, some Israelites believed that God could only be worshipped or prayed to in Jerusalem. Yet Jesus corrected this type of thinking when speaking with the woman at the well. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures of, on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. So... In conclusion, these people are claiming we can indeed pray everywhere, as long as we are praying for the right reasons. Praying for prideful reasons only receives earthly rewards. In everything we do, our focus should be on Christ, not ourselves. So that's their conclusion, and they're basing it on these two verses. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God, Jesus to you. So did that say to pray in public? No, but what it does say is to pray without ceasing. So that doesn't say to make it a public display. We've already been instructed to go into our closets to pray and to keep it a secret. And then Philippians. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything be prayer and supplication with thankful, uh, with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to God. So, does that say to pray in pu in public? No, it doesn't. So, for some reason, these guys' conclusion happens to leave out the fact that you need to not pray in public and that it needs to be a secret. But this is what's going on with these with these sites. They try and tell you a conclusion to come to, and yet... Look at what they're wanting you to believe. Matthew 6, 5 through 8 has nothing to do with whether we should pray in public or not. This passage is related to the reason we are praying. When Jesus contrasted praying publicly versus praying privately, he showed us we should not be selfish but selfless. We should be praying selflessly and glorifying God for his many blessings while laying up treasures in heaven. Okay? Do you understand after you've come to the conclusion that we do not live on a spinning ball, you have to realize that their conclusion does not match the words of the verse. And when you pray, you must not be like hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. All right, you see that? See how it's explaining what it is about what they're doing, they're doing it to be seen by others, 
not by God. So, truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your closet. All right, anyways. The point is, you got to look at the verses. You cannot just look at all they try and show you. Because obviously, these do not say to go around doing public prayer. Where does that say to grab the nearest person that you know and start praying? It does not say that. And how about this one? Go and get some people and start praying. No, it doesn't say that. Where does it show me the verse where it says to start live streaming? Try and make it as public as possible. Look, it's right there. And then the body of Christ is not. Where is it? There's six people that know about this? Crazy. I wonder how many of these people know that you're not supposed to be praying in public. It's just the Word of God. He knows about this. I mean, he put up this video just for this. The church is going for this. Like, all these people are just. What? They just are not realizing that they were lied to about the tenets of Christianity, too. Well, I tried letting Nathan know. You guys should let Nathan know that what he's doing is not Christian. 